Welcome relief to all legal practitioners and fills a yawning gap in our legal system. From a personal perspective, I wish I had back the thousands of extra hours which I have had to spend over my four decades of practice in searching for amendments to laws and for new laws. I might not have had to retire from cricket while still in my 20s. I do not think that I am exaggerating in saying that a lawyer or attorney, as we are now called, practicing in the next 40 years will spend a few less years at his desk than I have had to do to achieve the same work. I believe that it captures the importance to the legal profession of this event when I say that nightmares over whether or not you found the applicable law will be a thing of the past for old and young lawyers alike. When the laws are available electronically, which I am reliably informed will be next year, and assuming that word searches will be possible, the task of the lawyer will be made even easier and less time consuming. More time can then be spent analyzing the law than searching for it. Allow me to take this opportunity to suggest respectfully that attention be paid to the prompt publication of the official gazette. Section 42.4 of the Constitution provides that, and I quote, no law shall come into effect until published in the official gazette. The dictionary meaning of the word publish is to make generally known. In too many instances over too many years, the gazette has been printed with a particular law, but is not then available to the public. The public cannot be expected to comply with a law which it does not know. Many practitioners and corporate and private citizens have subscriptions to the Gazette, but it takes weeks, sometimes months, to receive it. Nor, in many instances, on my own direct inquiry, have laws been available at government headquarters long after the Gazette, bringing them into effect, has been printed. The statutory rule and order bringing into effect the Legal Profession Act was one such example. I respectfully call on the Honorable Attorney General to rectify without delay this serious remaining flaw in our legal system. I'm extremely pleased to be associated with this event and on behalf of the Bar Association congratulate His Excellency Mr. Bart, who initiated this project, his successor Attorneys General, and all others involved in this very positive development. I wish to pay particular tribute to Mr. Mukasa. I endorse his statement as to the magnitude of the task. His contribution and that of his team was invaluable. Before I close, allow me to use this forum to congratulate the government for bringing into effect from January 12, 2010, the Legal Profession Act. I expect and hope that this will assist not only in restoring the good name of the profession, but in stimulating the full and effective participation by the profession in the development of the country. I make no bones in saying that attorneys need to step up to the plate and to give back to the society <clears throat> the benefit of their training and experience in return for the fruits afforded them by the society. The updating of the laws will provide one less excuse for attorneys to avoid playing their intended role as a profession. Thank you.